And then if something does pop off, I'm recording it because they crazy. So I was seeing her read my Bible, but I'm like, Please, please off. Oh, let me see who shows up. Keep streaming for two minutes and you'll be noticed by more people. A beautiful day would be go rush. Why is my hair moving? That's the weirdest thing. Like my head is pumping. Why is it moving? No one's killing anyone. <laughs> That's why I'd be like, no one's killing, who's killing? What are you talking about? Start acting like them people that be running and calling the police. What are you talking about? Who's killing who? Play the victim. I play the victim. I'm just saying I'm not sitting here very innocent. Can't play something you are. Okay, I'll sit over there. Let me see what the real one looks like. What's the nothing? <laughs> oh, that's it. That's what I was about to say. It looks the same. Okay, that's funny. It actually looks better with nothing. Uh, I'm trying to fix this because every time I do my videos, they be looking all like, oh. Uh. <laughs> Did I just burp? Uh, let me see. Oh, that's smooth. I'm just trying to smooth that out my skin. <laughs> With these filters. Ah. 19. Okay. Let me see here. That's a big view. 19. Mm. Hold on. Oh, that one's nice. Hopefully, it stay like this every time I do a video. It'll stay the uh, one that I choose. That's kind of pink, and the wall is not pink. For sure. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, now let me see if I can just be a little. Just on the days where I'm not. Like today, where I'm not doing anything, but I'm doing something. Not too exaggerated, just like a little. Eh. I can do the video with nothing on. And it still look decent, but this is not. Try to take my mind off of some things. Oh yeah, this is the one I like when I don't have no makeup on. Why do I look kind of look like that? Not necessarily. It's just the days where I'm just like, I don't want to do my makeup, but I want it to look like I did it. <laughs> it was a cheat day. Yeah. Okay. No, that's not it. Uh, oh yeah, this is fine, because it looks like an eyelash. Okay, this is what I was trying to do. Come on, you do know I just didn't graduate. It looks great because you work. Huh? Are you going to hear me out what she said? No. 
You what, know, what, what did she say? She said that since she didn't take today, she was closing out the class. However, you had already signed up for summer school. So on the first couple of days of summer school, you could take the test. Now, did she say if that'll pass you or not? I don't know. But she said you could take the test on the first days of summer school. Signed up, which is next week. I didn't do that to you because for the past week or two, I've been telling you, hop in the car with Cece. I've been telling you to go. How? How? Because they were I sitting. She work. was sitting right here. It don't and he matter. Was right there. It don't matter. It don't matter. Bro. Get in how? the car. Get in the car. No, that's not how that shit works. Cece at work at 3 o'clock. Who's going to take me to work? It's a $50 Uber. Who's going to pay that? How, much, how far is it? Maybe I'm wrong. Bro, Cece house is in warm. My job was downtown. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your school. You keep focusing on that fucking job. That I'm just, you just saying did. though, because you said you said you just I had to left that right. job. Listen, that no, job listen, don't listen, matter. Listen, the job do matter because if we get kicked out, this bitch, I'm gonna be looking dumb. Rent don't matter because you, if you don't pay, we still, me and Jemai still gotta pay it. Period. You don't pay shit. I, have I don't to pay. pay nothing. I, have to pay. I don't. I know pay you don't pay shit. I'm looking at the shit. It say shit due for fucking May. I know you don't pay shit. I know you May don't. was paid for. You just going off and don't even know what the hell you talking about. You just wanted to say that. If you just wanted to say that, say that shit and walk wait, wait, wait. off. I'm asking but May was paid. May, May was that. paid. May was paid. Look at you bad. Because you try to say that shit and walk away. Don't come up in my face. Don't come up in my face. I don't like that. Don't do that. But May was paid. Quit playing. Stupid! You just wanted to say that, like, get out of here. Cause it's nine, it's nine ninety five. They put a hundred. They put a hundred. If you look, look, no, no, I'm not showing you. It's you no point of us going down. back and forth. It's no you point. Be so I'm just saying, it's no point of us going back and forth. Though. Want you to Fuck her. If I see her again, I'm smacking her. You it see don't it say eight ninety five. Normally it's nine ninety five. Look, look, you see look, that eight ninety four? They put it right there. Wait, what does that say? Because they put it right there. They didn't put it right here. They put it right there. That don't make sense. That don't, that make, don't sense. make sense, but that's what they did, and that's why it says total not. balance. It says total balance. Nineteen. It why says nineteen ninety eight. Say you don't pay nothing. Why look. does that not say that? But look, but look. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. It says April twentieth, two thousand twenty four. May fourteenth. These are fees that she added from the DTE that has nothing to do with the rent. They're playing DTE at the leasing office, but you don't know what you're talking about. So you're so busy trying to show people and prove a point to people that May wasn't paid and May was paid. Come on, stop. And even if May wasn't paid, I don't mind saying that shit. I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem yelling to the ends of the earth I didn't pay on May. And I don't have no problem letting people know why I didn't pay on May. Period. You already know what it was. So quit playing with me. Ain't nobody, I don't need no acceptance from no motherfucking body. And I don't mind telling anybody all my motherfucking business because I ain't hiding shit. And I ain't hiding shit from nobody. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I tell them all these business. Let's talk about these people's motherfucking business. Right. May wasn't paid on time. However, it was paid in May. And I could call everybody shit out. Let me lay y'all shit out. Y'all want to lay the fact that I didn't pay $100 until the end of May? Yeah. Because I paid $100 at the end of May. Period. Okay. They put it on June. Period. She not bothering me because I paid at the end of May. However, June is paid. All that shit gonna get paid for whether you pay it or not. You need to take your ass to school and finish 11th grade. Worry about that shit. Because me and Jemiah go to work regardless. You don't go to work. I do go to work, nigga. You go to work for like two I miss an hour. Them bitches got an hour off of me, period. I'm about to get up in a few minutes and go to work, period. That's work. I get paid. I do a service. Work. But you don't get paid. For I do get paid. My business get don't. paid. My corporation gets paid. And it pays me whatever the fuck I then need to get paid. Why are your kids paying rent for you? You can pay rent or you cannot. Are you you agree. You came in this motherfucker and oh, agree. Oh, shit. That's all you got to say. Thank you. Well, Quit playing with me. Oh, Quit playing with me. You try to play with people. Hey, Doing all that running around and yelling and cussing. I'm like, let me cut on live so you can be yourself. And we can talk about this for real in real life. And quit doing all that yelling. Because you yelling at the principal. Don't yell at the principal. Through my closet that I done put together outside in the hallway, I'm on 10 and try to act like I ain't pay May on time. Quit playing. And that was a late fee. That was a $100 late fee and I paid it on the 27th. Let me go back. On the 27th. Like, quit playing with me. I don't mind laying all my shit out on the table. Ain't no rug for me to sweep that shit under. So I lays it out for every motherfucking body to want to hear it. Quit playing with me. You done pissed me the fuck off. Don't try to call me because I'll call you out on your shit. Them two tests you didn't take to finish the 11th grade because a motherfucker walking you around this motherfucking house throwing everything out the motherfucking room. So you can sit in that room and he can open the door and fuck you at night. And you so, so fucking dumb you want to do that shit.
Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. You're you no, sound retarded. You talking bro. to me? You yes, want me to I'm respond? To it's a communication. You sound it's a back and forth. You're retarded. I be you're retarded as fuck. My old, developmental will be retarded as fuck, but I'm not too dumb to sit in that room at night. Stupid. You got me fucked up. That's all. Because if you want me to lay it out, I lay that shit out. Period. Ain't that right? Y'all got me all the way fucked up. When the motherfucker want to call me, I'm sitting here reading my Bible. When you start calling me like, oh my God, this, this, and this, and this, and this. Okay, eventually I have to come out. Jesus, can I? I mean, he going to keep going. Right. So it's like, if you're going to keep doing stuff, you're going to keep saying stuff, you're going to keep on and keep on. And the principal like, well, why is he here today? And I'm like, okay, well, let me call her. Like she said, why the fuck? Why you call my principal? Why you call? Because she texted me and told me to call her. It's my responsibility, my duty as a mother. Right. You're checking me? This is my phone. She called me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> to, to him, clearly, I just had an Uber ride. I'm coming the fuck up there. Fuck you. I'm going to take the test. Oh, my God. You come on the school premises. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't give a fuck. My Uber coming now. She like, oh, my God. He can't come on the premises like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why the fuck did you call her? Why the fuck did you? Because she called me. I don't know, but you can't go up there. She's going to call the police. And I'm like, okay, so I text my daughter, like, cancel the Uber, cancel the Uber, you know, cancel the Uber. And she's like, oh, my God, why, why I don't have my ride? Why you call her? Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, whoa, I'm sitting here reading my Bible. They're crazy. Crazy people. So now I got my room to. I'm on 10 because you don't put all my little church dresses on. Look at all the church. You done threw all the church dresses on the couch. Burnt orange and everything. <laughs> Is it that? Okay. It went off on me and the principal. My closet. Okay. So when somebody do that, I'm on 10. I'm already, I'm composed. Because any argument I get in right now recently, I've been composed. That's the only benefit of like um, everything that's transpired. I'm composed now. However, composed and on ready. Because you, you don't know what is walking through the house. Like I love my son to death. It would never hurt him. However, I have to protect me. And his baby lie over here chilling. He doing his little thing. So I was like, I'm about to check into work in a minute. Y'all ain't stop nothing. They called themselves like, oh, you can't work until we email or talk to you or whatever. I'm like, he, that's why he yelling all that. You ain't work. Yeah, I'm working in an hour. We cleared that up. Period. Quit playing with me. People playing all day long. And today I was like, okay, I'm going to have a peaceful walk. I'm going to have a really good day. Came in, cooked my little burgers or whatever. And it just went haywire. But... I'm learning. I was sitting here reading my Bible. I'm learning like, okay. God was like, at all costs. I was like, how do you fix this? Like, what is, what are we, what are we doing? You know, at all costs, find your peace. It doesn't matter how you find, you know how Medea was like, find your peace. <laughs> I'm like, find your peace, find your peace. That's what God said. The only way to clearing it and fixing it is finding your peace. So I find my peace and everything. Like, okay. While she was doing the thing with the work, I was like, if I my piece is listening to the Moses experience. So I was like, okay, let me listen to the Moses experience while she talks. Because I have to deal with that second. Like, so I'm like, okay, while she's talking, we're going to deal with the second. But I listen to the Moses experience in this ear. And I'm going to listen to her in that ear. And I'm not going to talk. So that's how I dealt with that. And I walked away with my cell phone. I walked away with what I needed or whatever. And then... Like, okay, I was like, okay, let me go take a shower because I know a shower relaxes me. It relaxes me. I don't know what to do for y'all. It relaxes the hot water, the steam, just name there. I don't know. That relaxes me. So I'm going to take a shower. No, 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 no. I was like, oh, I'm going to worship. I'm going to sing my worship song. No, I said I was going to listen to him. I'm sitting here listening to him. I listened to three. And then the third one I got in my feelings, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm yelling like, oh, you know how I get in my little feeling. I'm like, oh, my God, my boy's here. Let me start singing with it. Period. So he is all mad. And they're like, shut up. I'm like, whoa, this is my house. So I get louder. You know me? I'm like, I'm singing to the Lord, period. So I get louder. I'm like, okay, this worship, period. So I get in the shower. I'm like, oh, it's so steamy and nice in here. I'm what relaxing. What time was it in the morning when you was yelling? When I was worshiping and singing? Yeah, what time was it? 
It had to have been about 12, it was 11. 30. It was 11. No, 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 because no, the lady the called, and I got off the phone no. with her. She told me I couldn't work until I talked to her. It was after 12, and I talked to her at around no, 12, and I started yelling at like 12.22. No, you didn't. Because I had got off the phone with her, and I could show you that. And then I got in the shower at about, I want to say like 110, 115. I steamed up a little bit. I got a little hot, and then it was and like, oh, my God, work. don't do that again. Somebody I was like, okay, here. I won. Somebody else lived here. Somebody else lived here. No, I was telling you what street. happened in the time. So it was like 130. And then I got out the shower, and he was like, I was like, okay, you're an empty shell, you're an empty shell. You start throwing my closet around and stuff. And I was like, okay, this nigga is crazy. <laughs> so you start throwing my stuff out of my room. It was like, this is my room, punk. This is my room, punk. Okay, so he throwing my stuff out of my room. He's like, I'm going to be in this room. I was like, no, you're not. The door is in there, and I'm sleeping with my baby, so I don't want nobody around the door, period. So he started throwing my closet. I was like, you're going to put that closet back together because it took me an hour. I did the TikTok. You could see it from there, period. It's online. So he throws my church dress. It's like I said, church dress is sitting right here, period, and breaks my closet, throws all my stuff out the room, clean or dirty, and then says, I'm taking this room, unhooks his TV. He's still in there, unhooks his TV. It's like, I'm not going to school. I didn't pass the 11th grade. And his principal texts me. He's like, I am not going to have this. He's talking to me crazy, and he's yelling, and he's cursing. I was like, he's upset. That's not an excuse. I was like, okay. <laughs> so she goes off or whatever. He's like, I'm on my way now. He started putting on his little holy pants and was like, I'm on my way now, bitch. I'll, this stupid, this stupid ass shit. I'm going to come up there and take the test now, stupid ass. I was like, oh. So she's like, he cannot come up here. We're not going to have this. And then finally, he walks away and she's like, he comes up here. I'm calling the police. I'm taking measures and precautions. And she started using those like legal words. And I'm like, okay. And I text my like, cancel the Uber. You got him, cancel the Uber because he's crazy and they're going to call the police. So she calls him and tells him no Uber. He's going crazy. And now he's calm because he sees that all this is crazy. And now he's himself and nobody's. I'm over here going like this. Oh, he's not acting crazy. I'm not acting crazy because I know how to control and have composure within this nigga, you know, but anyways, <laughs> I know how to deal with that. But other than that, he doesn't. I, I think in the past, I didn't. Now that I know it's there, I'm kind of like, sit down, read your Bible, chillax, don't say nothing to nobody. I kind of let the principal go off and was like, we're not going to have this. He can take that, do that, do that, something's going on, yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, let her go off or whatever, because he probably went off on her already. I mean, ignore her. Right. <laughs> These people are crazy. Yeah, some stuff going on. You have to spiritually be aware of that. Because he'll get upset and be like, oh my God, you put on the line. Oh my God, your baby should be tongue. Oh my God, this happened. So I'm going to ignore him throwing all my stuff that I paid for in the kitchen. <laughs> Damn, when I go to, I'm like, okay, you know how to touch. You're going to touch people's shit. Let me show you how to touch people's shit. Right, because I'm about to get your stuff. Don't touch my stuff, don't touch my Oh, you can touch my stuff, but I can't touch your stuff. Because I'm, I know how to, two men in a truck. You'd be like, I could have sworn it was two men. I could have sworn it was a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I will move your stuff. Do you understand me? You'd be like, I take that man. Say, I, I, I was wondering how you was going to get that couch out of there. Then I saw you flip. Then you got a heavy wood. You flipped it down and you picked it up. Then you flipped it down. You picked it up. <laughs> oh, by yourself. I was going to help her. I'm like, she got it. I was <laughs> That couch was heavy. That couch was heavy. He keep hitting the wall, breaking my shit. Okay, so that couch was heavy. That was that expensive. Wood. That was expensive. Wood. I was like, this couch smells like shit. So I was like, oh, let me throw this couch out. So I kept throwing it. I was like, let me throw the couch out. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna wait on nobody. I'm just gonna drag it out there on my own. It was really heavy, so the only thing I could do was, like, pick it up and stand it in the air, and then push it over, and then pick it up, stand it in the air again, then push it over. 
let me show you how to move somebody's stuff. Okay, you must think they move all my dresses and the baby clothes and throw them all and break stuff. It's like, bro, I think I'm going crazy right now, right? This is my new crazy. My old crazy used to be yelling and tripping. This is my new crazy. It's composed and it's like, okay, that's what you're doing. Because I'm 40. 40 doesn't hop around and do all that. You know, you're like, okay. You don't do my stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna let you go in there, hit walls, and you know, hold up the walls. I'm supposed to sleep in that room. And you don't put old wall in the wall. <laughs> Laughing. So yeah, he chilling. Normally he be crying. He's saying chilling. He ain't worried about him. We don't let him do him. Two minutes in the truck. I ain't do nothing for him. For real. I didn't. I'm like, they're like, oh, you're not going to pass the 8th grade or whatever. Not 8th grade, 11th grade. I'm like, oh my God. That's crazy. It is. I've never had to deal with it. Like, They've been younger, and if somebody I'm dating acts like that, bro, like I said, two men in a truck, or I will leave. I'm like, I don't have to sit around, sit around like this. Is this serious? <laughs> no, I'm dipping. Like, forget this. This is not something I handle on a daily basis. Like, I'm just a peace. Like, I peace. And that's what I was like, oh, find your peace. Before, I used to be like, oh, let me pray. Let me read my Bible. Find my peace. Because I was mentally disturbed. I was, that was something inner, like myself. What is it? That was something within. Not something someone else was doing. So I find my peace by reading my Bible, praying. And sometimes I just watch something and then start worshiping and dancing. And that's what led to me, like, preaching. I was able to hear from God. And I went to a serene place. And that's the only way you're, like, you cancel out the clutter. So I'm like, okay, so I went to that place and it was not, it was self-induced. Now the things that occur are like other people and I don't like, I, I don't want to say I don't like people because I'm over that. I'm grown now. I can deal with people. I can have normal conversations or at least be cordial. So I don't have that problem. I'm okay dealing with people. I'm okay dealing with black people and I'm okay dealing with whatever type of people to come across whatever I don't have no like bias before I did I had like a problem I was like okay I can't be here or so I would leave because a certain type of person would come around or something like that I stay in it I stay in it now I'm like okay let me stay in it stay in it stay in it regardless of like oh if it's shade or if it's like something weird going on I could stay in it which is really cool I think I've grown I think now it's like finding my peace when it gets like that. I'm composed, but it's like it's something. I, I didn't do it today. Today I've been really calm, but normally I'm like, okay, I'll let you do that. Okay. Okay. Now I'm about to get crunk. And I start going crazy with them. I go on 10, but I didn't go on 10 with him, but I'm learning not to go on 10 with people. Right. When they go up there, like, oh my God, where are you doing that? That's not, you know, act like, oh my God, I'm a victim. Okay? So, yeah, stop immediately. Like, oh, let me grab some. You know, in in my head in the past, it was like, let me grab some. Whether it was a lamp or a knife or whatever it was. It was just like, let me grab some to eat her. I've already thought in my head what I'm grabbing to beat you with. You know? So, this was like, okay, I don't think like that no more. I'm like, how do we calm... I think now my mind, since I've been 40, is like, how do we calm this situation down and bring it to a peaceful state? Because I'm very peaceful now. So, yeah. I think those past two, hold on, one, two. 
I think it was three, it was either two or three instances since we've been in the house that they were kind of like, oh my God, you pull, oh my God, oh my God, your son need to be taken, yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't get so crunk so quick because people are like attacking, trying to get my son, you know? So it's kind of like, you have to look at situations a little deeper than it. someone jumping around and running around trying to fight you or beat you up or hurt you. Like, okay, why is this person doing this? And why did they just randomly start doing this? You don't just randomly get up and do that. You woke up out your bed and start hopping around, throwing my shit around. Like, what? What's the problem here? So you have to get to school to pass the 11th grade to take the test, okay? And you're throwing my stuff around, running around, yelling. So if you take this test, you don't go back to the school with those people. Got it. This isn't about me. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I was like, hmm. Well, let me call the principal to see if there's something we can do. Why are you calling the principal? Then it's like, cancel the ride, cancel the ride, bro, cancel the ride, cancel the ride. My daughter's even like, oh, let me get you over, get you to school. Cancel the ride, cancel the ride. I hear him back there, cancel the ride, bro, cancel the ride, bro. Get tired of it. I'm like, oh my God. You have to do a spiritual check. You have to stop. I think in the past, I used to be like that where I would just be like, oh, F is F you, F all them, F all them. <laughs> you have to stop and say, whoa, why F them? And why F them too? When you're initially mad at them, why are you messing up all of that? So that's that's why I'm like, hmm. And why are they doing that? Right. So that helped you guys for, hopefully that helped some of y'all. Because I know that some people are dealing with that in their house where it's like father against mother, mother against brother, brother against sister type thing. Nobody's against anybody. Everybody said what they said, and we moving on over here. Right. It's always been like that, though. It's like, repent and turn to Jesus or burn in eternal hell, period. Yeah. And you know them niggas will spit out the Bible verse in a minute and tell you how you need to go to hell for being whatever you mean. And I'm like, are y'all niggas going to church? And I'm not saying that it's better, one bit better than the other, like... Y'all go to church and read y'all Bible or spit it out anytime we act up. However, I'm just like, <laughs> I, honestly, honestly, the way I found Jesus was like, okay, reading my Bible and I didn't understand church. I just stand there and look and I, didn't under, I really didn't understand church. And I think I kind of, I almost still do not understand church. So I honestly came to God by just dealing with God, by reading my Bible and talking to God. Like, I don't know that other stuff that y'all talking about. So when they be like doing stuff like that, when they go into like the craziness and then they're like, oh my God, you need to read this Bible verse or you're going to burn in hell or something's going to happen. Like God is going to do something to you for you maybe going off or you doing whatever it is you do that's a sin that maybe you think God might not like that you feel condemning. They will condemn you and they be doing the worst thing. You'd be like, well, y'all don't want to bother it. Like the seed was planted by y'all. And you're going to sit here and spit out a Bible verse because I'm mad at the situation and the happenstance of the situations and the circumstances that are happening. Come on. So. I'm, I, I'm just at a loss for words. I'm just at a loss. I'm just at a loss because it's like y'all spit out the Bible verse like. Had you not done that, you wouldn't have to spit out the Bible verse. We wouldn't have this problem. Confused. I'm confused. I'm very confused. So like I said, I don't understand church. And like I said, I was sitting here reading my Bible, trying to find my peace, which I'm going to go back to doing in the next few minutes because I got a couple hours before I, an hour or two before I start to actually really work. But every time they want to spit out, oh, you can't work. And it's like, well, who is this demon that I've never, like, okay. We've had people, like, run in and they'd be like, oh, here's so-and-so. They are the manager now. And then they 
treat the job as if they're ready to fire you. They position the job and make sure everything is positioning so that you can get fired eventually. And sometimes you actually do and you move on and go get another job. But this demon in this day, in this time, they're standing around you or they're looking at you like, you can't work, you're not working today. And it's like, well, what is that about? And I get the resources. It's like, oh my God, your resources are privileged. Everybody has their amendments and their rights and all that. And I get it, blase, blase. And I got you, you got your position and you control your situation or whatever. But it's like, and it's not just me. I'm not playing like, oh my God, because I'll figure it out. Whether I got to go out there and cut some grass, you'd be shocked at the grass I cut, how it looked like a landscaper. Or I could cut some hair, braid some hair, do some makeup, watch some kids. Whatever the hell I got to do, I'll figure it out. But I'm talking about the people in this day and this time of the making sure people's situation does not proceed past a specific level. Like capping them to the point where their circumstance is, a, is like at a standstill or just, you know, roughing it. And it's like, what is that about? I had to go to a place to understand because I didn't understand the circumstances of situations that were happening in my life because it was so minuscule. It was such a small part. So I didn't really get to the part where the nitty gritty that was actually occurring. So, and, um, I can't, you can't pray for something that you don't know about. I'm praying for something and I was praying for these things, but I didn't know the other half of it, the bitter end. So I got to see the bitter end and get an understanding of some stuff that was going on. It's like, okay, okay, so, and you have to say like, Okay, this led to this. That's why you're there. But why were you that way in order for you to get there? You know, why did that lead to that? What happened before that? You know, so it's like, okay, really such a tough, icky situation, which led me to like, I was going through my own situation, but it felt like I wasn't going through it. And you hear that in the Bible, like, like a lot, like, okay, oh my God, I was going through this, but I didn't feel like it. I was so taken up in some other stuff that that wasn't even happening in my life. And the, what you will hear me talk about will be like, oh my God, that didn't happen. And if you ask me, I'd be like, it really did not happen for me. Some other stuff was going on with me in order for that to proceed. That's why I'm like, so I'm praying for these people already. And then how do you pray for something that you don't know about? So we went to the other end, the bitter end of the stick that I was praying for. I'm like, oh, release the captives, Lord. Those people that are connected to me, yada, 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 all this stuff. Release the innocent, you know, bless those that are connected to me. We should have the countenance of Jesus. I'm just praying random stuff, you know? So this stuff that I'm praying, I'm seeing some of it go with forth. However... And you see those monks, they like live in the Catholic and then you go and do the confessional. They'll come in the confessional with you. However, they live in the church and like oh, some people pay the church or do like charity and assist them with their living. I met a bishop one time. And he was telling me how he lives off of it, which was completely amazing. And then he takes like two months off or like a sabbatical to live his actual life. So we agreed to this. I wouldn't be alive had I not. It's like what? Jesus did for me was great enough for me to do what he asked me to do for him. Not saying that I have to be the one to do it. Someone else can. However, he chose me to do what he chose me to do. And then he chose you what he chose you to do. Maybe similar, maybe greater, maybe smaller, maybe nothing. Um, but that's up to you ultimately at the end of the day. If I choose to take a break, it's my choice. Now, God can like forcefully... I've seen him forcefully do something like I need this done. It's the will of God. Like I'm like an instrument, a tool, not a gardening tool, but a tool for him to utilize to like actually push to do things. So if he wants to utilize me to do that, that's fine. Am I upset? Am I angry? Am I evil about some things? Yeah, but Jonah, you have no right to be angry, but I am. 
at the end of the day we have to be honest you have to be honest with yourself a lot of people aren't honest with themselves and that's why people kill themselves that's why people go out here and do drugs that's why people be crazy because they're not honest with themselves when you honest with yourself can't nobody mess with you you be like yes i did and you know and what what are we doing i might do it again tomorrow what Period. So that's what you're going to get from me. So don't come to me talking about anything unless you have some questionings about something I did. You got a question for me about something I did? Other than that, I did it. Go talk about it. Period. Because other than that, we ain't got nothing else to talk about. And that's how I've been all my life. I've never been needing acceptance from nobody because I never received acceptance from anybody. So how can I want something I never received? So it's either love it or take it, leave it or, you know what I'm saying, lose it. But other than that... That's besides the point. I forgot what I was saying. So I was praying for these things and they were occurring. Like I was actually seeing the benefit of my prayers. And God was giving me, you know how you should have what you say. And I think with the portion that was supposed to be for people, I think they thought that that was my portion between me and God. Me and God is a relationship I ask, I shall receive. If he tells me to do it, I do it. And that's pretty much what it is. There's nothing else, no additional spoofs, no, you know, dust, no air, none of that, nothing, no, nothing you could pick up, nothing you could drop off. So anything was like, okay, a prayer for you guys. How do I make it come with forth? A lot of singing. And then you see in like places where they like heal people and there's like this like heat, there's a cool, there's a wind. That's for everybody. That's for the people to receive and take in. That's not for somebody to walk around with and be all like great with. <laughs> that's not for it. You may feel it because the person walked in the room, but that's not for them. That's for you to receive. Just so you know, for future reference so that it's helpful. So that person needs to keep their countenance, their Holy Ghost, their place that they're in, especially if they're praying for you so that they can stay in the place that they're in. Tomorrow, you'd be like, oh, my God, total different house. It'd be cleaned up. My stuff will be in my room. You'd be like, oh, my God, it seems like heaven. But then some days you see stuff like that and you'd be like, well, what is going on? And it's a spiritual thing. And most people be like, oh, my God, go pray, go pray. I'm not going to go pray. I'm going to knock you in your head if you don't sit down somewhere. You know, you have to be real. And that's how y'all mama was. Y'all mama was like, oh, my God, if you don't sit down, I'm going to beat you. But she went in the room and prayed. I'm not about to go pray over that. We've already prayed over that. I'm not about to fight another demon that I already fought. Period. That's the only reason why I went live. I was like, ah, you know what? Yeah. That's, that's the only reason why I went live. I'm like, I'm not about to fight this demon. I'm not about to pray over him. And I was sitting here reading my Bible, getting my peace. But you want to pop in and do all that crazy stuff. So, yeah. I'm not about to fight him. And he already know that. Anytime he shows up, and I'm not talking about you in there. Anytime this demon shows up or this spirit shows up, I never fight him. I don't care who he shows up in or who acts like him or who knows or brings him in. I'm not about... I'm sorry? Yeah, it should be in there. It should be one or two left. Where? In that drawer. Like I said, I'm not going to buy him again. No, ma'am. I went through that already. And no, I refuse. Oh, Jesus, are you still with me? If Lord is Lord and King of Kings and he is the Prince of Peace, Jesus, are you still with me? He is still with me on a daily basis. So it's like, why am I fighting on somebody that roams around doing absolutely whatever the hell he wants to do when Jesus is still with me every day of the week? It don't make sense. It don't make sense. It don't. It don't make sense. And you sit around and be like, oh, Lizzie can't work, yada, 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 doing all that. And I'm okay. It's like, like I spoke about the other day at the battlefield, God handles every battle differently. So we don't need to grab no rock and try to swing it on everybody that don't accept you or don't approve of you. That don't make sense. It don't. It don't. And we showed you it don't and and then what? 
They looking at me like, if then what? If it don't make sense, and then what? And you know, walk past it. If you can't be its manager, you can't sit beside it, you can't come in and mess with it. It's like. Come on. No, because I show up in any room I any room I'm in, whether it's a Zoom, a Bible study, or a little women's group or whatever, I'm gonna show up. You get know what I'm saying? So like ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's not my that's not my cup, that's not my will, that's not my what I'm here for. I'm not here for Zoom, I'm not here for Bible study, I'm not here for women's group. And I'm trying not to be upset about the stuff because it's kind of like some some of the upsetness can mess with the people that you are trying to help. Like you may, there might be 10 people on here that I was trying to help it that are actually listening. But then there's the other 10 people that are on here just to like, what is she talking about? What, what, what mood is she in? Is she even working? What is she doing? You know, just on here like, what a face look like? You know, what are we doing? Ooh, is she on wine? She got to let me get wine and go. You know, what are you here for? You know? But then there are some people here that are literally like, okay, I've been following little doubt, and I know, but girl, if she ain't went off yet, I, I'm going to sit on here, whatever she's giving, because I already know. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> like, <laughs> if she ain't went off yet, whatever she's sniffing, I'm trying to sniff, but I don't care what it's not like. Y'all seriously funny. <laughs> she ain't went off yet. Okay, so all that extra stuff we're doing, what, what we got to do in order to start working. Okay, what you talking about? Oh, okay. We figured out it may not look Christian like or lady like. It might not be Christian like or lady like. But we gonna get it done, and we get it done. Period. How I get? I'm on my third book, third child, third mental episode. <laughs> I think a third trimester of life. I'm forty. Third trimester of life. Like, quit playing. Thrice I was nice. Thrice I was nice. Thrice I was nice. Period. So, third episode with him. This third time he did that since we moved in. Like everything in threes. When they come in threes, you gotta, you already know what that means. What? It's the third time. It could possibly be a four. And I ain't went off yet on nobody. Period. Like I should. Like I know I could. Like I wanna would. <laughs> so, like, um, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, she ain't lost it yet. I'm trying to sniff it. What if, what if we smell like? Cause, uh, <laughs> I'm ju no judgment zone. I'm going to lay it out for you. Ain't no carpet to hide it under. And I'm not trying to. Right. Period. What are we doing today? And we do it. I don't care and if you thought I care I don't I don't you know it costs a dollar 99 to for braiding hair I do box braids in four hours quit playing with me so stop it Dollar Tree quit playing with me so clearly, I don't want to do it, and I don't care about doing it. Okay? I, it's not crazy. It's just saying the stuff that we talk about is so minuscule and so beneath me. It's like it's worthless of even talking about.
our cornrow box braid and Senegalese twist. What are we talking about? And I barber. I know how to cut hair. What are we talking about? Okay. I'm just trying to refute some of this stuff because it's, it's minuscule. It's stupid. I like talking about, I like honestly, no cap. I like talking about the Bible. I like talking about Jesus. I like talking about what he did, going to do, and been doing and doing right now. But unfortunately, due to the circumstances of the situation, we have to deal with stuff like this on a daily basis. They'd be like, well, what are we dealing with? Well, we got to deal with this. Why are we dealing with this? Why? If I'm sitting here reading my Bible, why we got to deal with this? And then you yelling, you ain't going to work. Why I had to deal with that for an hour? Why I had to deal with you ain't going to work for an hour? And then you come in here yelling, you ain't going to work. And then I'm sitting over here reading my Bible and then you want to do all that. Ain't no power struggle here. The same power that started maybe even greater, is still sitting here. It's like, think, like, you're not doing anything. If anything, you're making it greater. So it's like, why are you doing that? You get mad that it's greater, and you sit there and badger it until it's greater. Like I said, pressure produces rubies. Pressure produces purpose. Pressure produces greatness. Pressure just produces because it's pressure. Period. So why are you pressuring it if you get upset at the pressure? That's crazy. Don't make sense. Listen, we're not talking about plastic producers. Plastic is going to be do what it do. Period. At the end of every day, I know a couple good. I got a couple good numbers to give you for some plastic. We're talking about pressure. We're talking about you doing the work, not getting the work done. And I don't have a problem with either one. I'm just saying we're talking about you doing the work today. That's what I'm talking about. We ain't talking about that kind of pressure. We're talking about doing the work. You see that mat over there? Doing the work. I don't have a problem with you doing the other work. What I have a problem with you doing is bothering somebody just trying to do the work. That's all I have a problem with. I'm going to tell you how fucking good you look. Period. But if you're not doing the work and you're bothering somebody who's doing the work, who's doing that pressure, don't come over here talking about no pressure. I can cut on the TV and see that shit. They look good as fuck. Plastic. Not a problem, but don't bother nobody just doing pressure. Fuck your peace. Period. And I'm going to get louder if I need to, if nobody hears me. I'm going to yell it to the ends of the earth. I'm going to yell it to the ends of the earth. He can get loud. We scream. Me and baby light scream. What's the problem? We scream. What's up? I'm mad because I'm like, you gonna sit there talking about weed pressure, okay? I already told you you look good. What is the problem? What is you talking about pressure? We're talking about pressure and you doing the work. We, like I said, pressure produces rubies. Pressure produces purpose. So when you're pushed into doing something, not pushed into going and getting something done, when you're pushed into doing something that's like extremely hard that you would not have done had you not been pressured or pushed, it makes you greater, so if you get upset at that greatness, why would you push someone? That's all. And that's what I was saying. That's what I was trying to say before. I was completely interrupted by we pressure, we produce. And I'm like, okay, keep producing. I don't have a problem with that. No one's jealous of that. You're trying to introduce jealousy. And jealousy does not live here, nor would it ever reside. Period. Especially when the bitch already told you you was a bad bitch. So why are you bothering me? I don't even do that. That's I'm like, ugh. That's beneath me. It's nonsense, you know? 
I've always like watched like, you know, fashion and like the models and stuff like that. So I really am interested and stuff like that. You know, it's, I guess it depends on what you're interested in. Like a tennis person might be interested in tennis and somebody might be interested in fashion. Another person might be interested in like NASCAR and like driving and stuff like that. And you might be interested in what you're interested in, you know? So I don't know what to tell you. Thanks, darling. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just need you to know where my head is at. Now he's mad. Let me say something that gets under his skin. He going off again. Ah. We're supposed to cuss a lot because this morning we were told not to cuss. Every time we're told not to cuss or someone hates cussing, we go on this like cussing rampage through the whole day. And I was doing well. I was yelling, shut the front door. I was working on my cussing because I had went through.